Hi guys. This here is my winter structure, uh, sort of just a, a perimeter shelter, I guess. It's a lean-to shelter, I think it's called, but uh, I get the names mixed up. Uh, so basically what it is, is a uh, spruce and uh, pine log shelter. Some of them have been lashed together to form a structure, and then the rest are just piled on. Um, I also here have uh, a long log fire to keep me warm as it's fairly cold outside right now. It's uh, minus 8 degrees Celsius, but the winds are, are fairly high. I would say that they're uh, 5 to 6 meters per second, so that makes for quite the chilly night. I also sleep outside without a sleeping bag, so uh, you really are uh, dependent on, on a good structure and uh, good insulation from the ground. Uh, and that I do have. Uh, I'll show you uh, a couple of the details about the structure uh, now. I did spend the night in this, by the way. Uh, just uh, last night I built this, uh, built this uh, shelter yesterday and uh, I will sleep in it also tonight. So I'll make a couple of adjustments and uh, show you guys how that works out. Here you can see uh, the remnants of the fire that has been burning uh, all night long. It's still smoldering as you can see here. So it's still, still going after being going all night. It's a long log fire. Um, ideally, I would have bigger logs than this. And, uh, but there have been uh, quite a few logs actually that have been just uh, burned through here. Uh, these are the, the biggest ones, but uh, there are a few more that had basically the same diameter. Here you can see the skins that have been uh, uh, basically my uh, my only source of insulation. This here is an elk skin. Uh, it's okay for this purpose. It's got a couple of holes in it, but uh, but it's uh, it's not the best. Uh, it's kind of heavy, and also it 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 does. Uh, if it gets wet, it gets uh, you know it sucks up the the, the moisture uh, quite a bit. So it's not it's not the best skin. Um, this one is the reindeer, as is this here over here, uh, and they are just perfect for this for this thing. Um, hands down, the best type of insulation that I, I could wish for. Um, the hairs are hollow, so they retain the heat just perfectly. It's like they were just manufactured for that purpose alone and uh, the only negative thing is uh, they break easily because they're hollow uh, they don't come off but they do break uh, so it's not the most sturdy uh, skin hair wise but the the hide itself is actually very sturdy and, and stretchy so very flexible this is a woolen blanket just heavy duty old school woolen blanket just strap that onto my backpack and you know go out anywhere really um, <coughs> so this is all mostly pine and spruce this structure uh, you can see this is a tripod this here is a tripod there is a, a round lashing on on this one uh, I also on this one over here because it's not as sturdy as the other tripod I also put a, a horizontal bar on this one to keep it from pushing out because of all of the weight that's on top of this, this would bear down. And uh, if I'm not lucky, uh, it could slide out. And then all of this would just come down right on top of me. So it's a really good idea to, to put some relief on this. Uh, and uh, strengthen it up a bit. These are just... Uh, yeah, well, you can see the lashings. I don't know what they're called. Okay. So, these bars over here are just piled on top of the uh, horizontal top bar. Uh, and uh, ideally, if I had, an, had enough time yesterday, they would have also been insulated with spruce and pine boughs on the back. I'll go around and show you what it looks like from the other side. This is it. Uh, ideally, I should also have a couple more bars uh, out towards the edge on both sides. That would give me a little bit more for the wind. And just make the shelter all around just a lot cozier and warmer. Uh, and also, when you got this insulated 
from the ground up with the bows and maybe put a couple more bars on top to keep them in place. It should be a really, really good shelter in, in all respects, really. Another thing you can do is take this blanket and fasten it on the tripods and, and pull it down. And that way it would also keep, uh, keep a lot of the, uh, the snow and wind out. So that's uh, another adjustment that you can make. Okay, so uh, I'll be back tonight. Uh, I'll be sleeping out in the shelter one more night. So I'll see you guys tonight. We'll see uh, what the weather looks like and if I have to do a couple more adjustments to keep warm. All right, have a nice day.